Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon, and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to create customized login handlers using Spring Security. Let's open our GitHub page, click on Repositories, let's clone Almighty Java repository so whatever changes I am going to add in this video, clone helps to commit directly. Repository cloned successfully, let's import this in Spring Source. Click on Finish. Imported successfully, as I said in the previous video, I will show you how to use a simple capture drawer from Palm as a dependency. See here is the dependency. Need to add jar file path in system path and scope as a system. See it's simple. Now no need to add this jar as build path. You can see there are no error. Let's run and see it's working or not. Server started with no error. See it's working fine. Now let's see how to create custom login handlers. Let's open Spring Security Configuration and a user controller. But before this, I am going to add one more important changes. Let's see how to configure web security will help. Let's override this method. So generally we use this method to ignore asset related path like CSS, JS, images. Let's add required changes. Instead of using AND matchers every time we can use all together with comma separated. See it's very simple. Apply the same changes in this method also. Now let's implement custom login handlers. Here you can see we used error or success message in the user controller class login method. Now we will move this from this class to Spring Security Configuration class. So there are methods available like success handler, failure handler, logout handler. Let's first start with success handler. This method parameter like will create method login success handler which will return authentication success handler. Let's create a method for login success handler and return type must be authentication success handler. Like success, there are methods for failure and logout as well. Let's add changes for failure and logout also. It's easy nothing complicated. See it's simple. Let's open authentication success handler interface. See there is only one method called on authentication success and it needs three parameter request, response, authentication. Let's add required changes. It's Java 8 style code.
we will use send redirect method of response. Let's open authentication failure handler interface. See here also only one method called on authentication failure and it needs three parameter request, response, exception. Let's copy same line and paste it in login failure handler, replace authentication with exception. Now let's open logout success handler interface. See here also only one method called on logout success and it needs three parameter request, response, authentication. Paste the same line like login success handler. Now we need this context path. Let's see how to read this in Spring Security Configuration class. There is a class called environment, so using that we can read any property. Annotate this with auto wired. Now using get property read context path. In case of failure add user login as well. Same use in logout also. This is done, but along with redirect we need to add message also, so let's move this message code also in Spring Security Configuration class. We will add these messages in the session, let's see how do we do it. The same way we will add for logout also. That's it for this class. Now let's add required changes in user controller also. After add model attribute will remove from the HTTP session. See changes are very simple. That's it for this class. Let's run and see it's working or not. Server started. Like we moved logout message from user controller to Spring Security Configuration, and it's coming now, means changes are working fine. The same way error message also showing. Let's stop the server and review the changes.
Authentication Success Handler The strategy used to handle successful user authentication. Implementations can do whatever they want but typical behavior would be to control the navigation to the subsequent destination, using a redirect or a forward. For example, after a user has logged in by submitting a login form, the application needs to decide where they should be redirected to afterward. See Abstract Authentication Processing Filter and Subclasses. Other logic may also be included if required. Authentication Failure Handler The strategy used to handle a failed authentication attempt. Typical behavior might be to redirect the user to the authentication page. In the case of a form login, to allow them to try again. More sophisticated logic might be implemented depending on the type of exception. For example, a credentials expired exception might cause a redirect to a web controller which allowed the user to change their password. Logout Success Handler A strategy that is called after a successful logout by the logout filter, to handle redirection or forwarding to the appropriate destination. Note that the interface is almost the same as Logout Handler but may raise an exception. Logout Handler implementations expect to be invoked to perform necessary cleanup, so should not throw exceptions. I checked in my changes to Git. Open GitHub page. Click on Repository. Here you can see in the last commit. See here are the changes. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.